Hello guys, welcome back here to the channel Stop Paulo Azul in Super Academico and today I'm going to do the, the reading, the commenting of the book um, Objectivity, Relativism, Relativism and Truth, Philosophical Papers, Volume 1 by Richard Horty. So, before I begin, please subscribe to channels, to both channels Give the like to the video, comments, and share the video. Help us grow as channels in the YouTube. So, Richard um, Horty, uh, I, I think in the channel, in the Portuguese videos, there are two or maybe one video about Richard Horty. Richard Horty is a, a, was an uh, American philosopher that lived uh, most of the 20th century. He is the one representative of the pragmatist movements. It's a, it's a line of philosophy uh, where the, the philosopher uh, treats the, the, the problems, né, the questions, the issues in a, in a very particular way that it was created, that it was invented in the United States by uh, the, the American philosopher Charles Sanders Peace in the, the the end of the 19th century, beginning of the 20th century, 20th century, he was, uh, it, it was very, uh, very well launched, uh, very well developed by the, another thinker, another philosopher and psychologist, uh, William James, and has uh, another, uh, there is another, others, uh, other philosophers, John Dewey was also one of them, it's his famous because of his work in the librarian accounting. <laughs> I don't know the term, but he's famous because of the Dewey Decimal System that classifies the books in the librarians, libraries. So Richard Horty was a, a late, a later, a later, later. Uh, Example of this line of thinking, uh, the pragmatism. He, he he died very very short time. I don't know, ten years ago. I, I don't, I'm not sure, but uh, he he left us a very important work that I will comment this book specifically, yeah? objectivism, relativism, and truth, because it's one that I that I I read completely. Yeah? And it was by him. It wasn't something that I read about his work, but it was his work, actually. So, um, in this work is a collection of papers that explores the implications of philosophical pragmatism in several areas, including natural science, mind and body issues, in philosophy, mind body, mind body issues in philosophy, and perspectives on liberal democracy and social change. Similarities between Horty's pragmatism and Skinner's radical radical behaviorism are explored in each of these uh, three areas. Yeah? Uh, uh, although some important and interesting differences are found regarding the role of science in social change, most areas show remarkable, remarkable similarities between the two systematic perspectives. So, uh, commenting this this opening uh, of the 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 the, the, of, uh, the book, or the theme of the main theme of the book, the big, uh, uh, the book is 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 made by. Uh, several papers uh, different papers that were that were written in different uh, times in different periods but addresses uh, some of the most important issues for the american philosophy that's why that's why the 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 one thing that is very interesting in the pragmatism is that basically the pragmatism is the philosophy where uh, the the mind, you know, the effort of the thinker, of the philosopher, is put into uh, a range of thought in a way that assists the living reality. Uh, it's, uh, that's why it's pragmatism. And 
it has to do with the practice of the, the everyday life of every, of every citizen, of every person. So when he addresses about the natural sciences, the consequences of sciences to democracy, the social, the social change about liberal democracy, uh, the, the theme that we have today, uh, the, the, the threat to democracy because of the reascend of uh, far, far right uh, movements. All these kind of things uh, are very, uh, very natural, very, very easy to be treated by a pragmatism point of view. Uh, so it's very interesting to to uh, to think about these themes, these issues, in a pragmatic pragmatism, uh, not pragmatic, simple, simple, is pragmatism. It uh, in a philosophical way. That's what Horty does in his book. Continuing. Uh, also, uh, also one commentary about the Skinner's radical behaviors. Skinner's uh, B B F Skinner uh, was a psychologist, very famous because of his theories about the behavior, our behavior that are conducted by the the series of stimuli that we have in life that makes us respond in a certain way in it was believed by the behaviorism that it was possible to uh, like um, train and uh, to uh, make someone especially children to behave in a certain way if you have if you have the certain the correct stimuli so ju just a note about who is the Skinner I always try to clarify the, the the names there are mentioned if i know it of course if i is of my knowledge acknowledgements introduction anti representationalism re anti representationalism so the idea is representation is where you have the representation of the reality in your mind so anti representationalism is the line of work that says that the reality has its own thing, its own language, its own existence. Ethnocentrism, that's a line of thinking com that came from, that comes from anthropology that says that uh, we have the tendency of uh, cultural centralism, uh, ethnocentrism, cultural centrism in our own cult culture and the liberalism uh, liberalism has two uh, two identification and uh, two, two line of thinking the, there's the liberalism liberalism in the economy it is uh, like the the basis of capitalism and the liberalism in politics that is about the the liberties uh, the freedom of speech freedom of thought freedom of vote freedom of electing this kind of a thing Part one, solidarity or objectivity. These are the titles, né, the contents of the book. One, science as solidarity. He speaks, uh, as I remember, as I recall, about how the ascending of science, né, the way that science grows in our society, may need some kind of a moral work together with the the hard science i think it's a good thing to think because sometimes science when it's just hard we have the the movie oppenheimer that's coming out this these days né? today is august uh, 3rd of 2023 and this movie shows about how science can create something that is really bad and destructive and two is natural is natural science a natural kind the question uh, natural science natural kind three pragmatism without methods and uh, it's strange because uh, methodology is a thing of science not of philosophy 
in philosophy, what we call methods sometimes is more like the 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 philosopher point of view. In pragmatism, it's not different. It has some bra pragmatism without method. Texts and lumps. Um, I don't remember this. What is about texts and lumps? Probably this is some kind of influence of language. Five inquiry as recontextualization, an anti-dualist account of interpretation, part two. Non-reductive physicalism. And five pragmatism, Davidson and truth. This is very interesting because uh, Davidson is uh, was also I think he's died too. A uh, philosopher of the same line of, of thinking of Horty, but he he had some connection with the the philo philosophical language, the language philosophy, and he has a very very interesting contribution about how we deal with reality through language, through the symbolic, to the symbols of language. So pragmatist Davidson and truth, truth. What is truth? Uh, the, if not what we interpret about reality. Representation, social practice, and truth. Then again, uh, we have the possibility of constructing a truth in the social relations. That's why the Davidson works and another thinker, Quine, uh, are very interesting about how do do you uh, how do we understand the relation that we have with other people around us when we are trying to interpret the reality this is a thing to think about um, the people that surround us help us to understand the reality that we have in hand we are not alone in this so the truth is con constructed socially um, again Unfamiliar noises has in Davidson a metaphor on metaphor. Uh, he was a, a, a very fond of uh, the, the the way that metaphors né, becomes uh, current in our language, né? in the English language, in Portuguese also, but uh, in any language I think sometimes you use a metaphor in the beginning of the thinking of something and then it becomes the the, the, the normal, uh, the regular, the common way of thinking. It, it lets uh, the, the metaphor behind, it was just a, a letter to get to the knowledge. Part three, the, prior, the priority of democracy to philosophy. This is a central place, a central team in, in American pragmatism because they value a lot this thing of uh, the, the affirmation and the, the the belief in the democracy that lets the philosophy goes eh? I think uh, there there is a lot of there are a lot of things to criticize on the American democracy and the United States democracy the whole America but United States democracy but one thing that's very very clear eh, for for us that are outside is that they value very much the, the 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 work of the philosophers of the thinkers of the scientists in the in university right? in the environments of the the product production of knowledge and that's something positive because even when you have some political uh, political uh, ideology or a uh, position eh, a positioning that is against the government against the system even so they value the existence of that so this is the basis of this democracy in the philosophy in the academic in the university and that's a, a very important thing to protect in this uh, it's a way of thinking that uh, gave origin orange to, to the pragmatism and has uh, continued to be a part of democracy of pragmatism is that value of democracy to the philosophy